And I chose uh, the people who came to see the film where I didn't just want to fill the theater. I wanted people who mattered, people who will carry this movie uh, tomorrow to tell people to come and watch this movie. It is releasing on December 4th. Um, it was one of the most powerful movies that I've seen I in this independent... I, w I, I don't like using the word independent cinema as cinema. You either like it or you don't like it. Independent because we don't have, you know, the commercial heroes or heroines. But um, each of you e uh, have done such a fantastic role. Um, how difficult is it to show it in India? I mean, I had invited mothers and daughters, and I was like, ah, <laughs> because uh, it's very strong in your face content. It is not uh, just uh, frou frouing around. It's it's right there. You either accept it or not, and you fall in love with all the characters before it's revealed. Uh, what is revealed? I don't know if I can talk about what is revealed, so I will not. <laughs> see, uh, I see. That's why I said I, that, that. Thank you for such a courage, uh, the, for the courage that you've had to bring out such a powerful and a movie that's so needed, not just for every woman but for every man to watch, to see what it is that a woman goes through. And I believe cinema is the most powerful medium because you can go back and rewatch that, and it's a different experience every time you watch it. Um, I am a theater actor, I, I went to college for it, it's, it's one performance every night, but with film, it stays on forever, and uh, I believe, and I hope, and I believe, and I know that this film is going to be one of those films that will stay on forever. We're talking about the first half of the film, like when you fell in love with all of you, and then there is this shocking element, I'm like, oh my god, how are they going to make, like the producer in me is thinking, how are they going to do this, how are they going to tell people, but um, but then you took it somewhere else, you took it on a completely different ride, every time they say, uh, sat down to talk about something, it's, they are issues that all the girls, all my girlfriends, every time uh, we talk about, you know, uh, and uh, let it be over a chai or at home or just laying in bed, like, it, it's something we always talk about. I first want to ask you how you conceived the film. I've read in, uh, I've read the two minutes I got right now, I just went through the papers. It, it, I mean, you said you've been trying to make this film before Kahani or before Queen or any of these films came out. Social elements um, and starting, I mean, if it was Nandita Das, we'll accept it or uh, why I use that name is someone who's older, who's been in the industry. It's okay, you're young and starting off your career. To make such bold choices, didn't you feel that you would uh, you'd be typecast after this movie? I, I mean, I was always try to have strong women character in my earlier films, and uh, I closely worked with Dilip Shankar, who's a casting director. You know, who has worked on films like Bhag Mil Ka Bhag and Life of Pi. So when we had, in fact, finished a film called Valley of Flowers. Uh, we said we should really do, you know, no one is doing it, let's make a woman as hero film. And literally, him, Dilip and me, we went for two and a half months to Madhya Pradesh, researching everything about Jansi Ki Rani. Uh, and when that research was over, we decided, oh, we are not going to make this film. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, why was that? we found some, yeah, because wi while we were traveling, we came across absolutely real story, which just blew our mind, which was the story of Putli Bai. She was a uh, kind of a bandit queen, you know, a great singer turned, you know, bandit queen. And uh, so what we, and then we knew that there were no takers. We tried to sort of go around uh, with the story. We even had a treatment. Uh, and Dilip had ideas that who can play, you know, uh, for such a film. But it meant, it was just before the independence. So it meant, uh, you know, period costume, expensive production. Uh, so since then, these ideas stayed that we need to do, you know, th there are some so many wonderful stories. And the more film one was watching, mainstream cinema, we realized that what I see in reality, we don't see it on the screen. You know, and then actually in 2000, uh, about five or six years ago, there were a few actresses, friends like Sandhya and 
we met at the party, and then again this whole conversation started. That oh, we need to do something, you know, we need to talk about it, and you know, and uh, then it was dropped. So uh, initial treatment because we were not getting any financial encouragement, we very often left. We when we planned, we never thought we were going to make India's first buddy female film. No such thing. We were just attracted to amazing stories, and we realized there is something to be done. And uh, coincidentally, in my life, somehow I've always ended up with women. I was studying in Ahmedabad in National Institute of Design. And for five years in my class, I was the only boy, and there were nine girls. <laughs> when I had my first job for four years as a production runner, they were all women. I was the only guy in the production company doing ad films. So, you know, so a so lot of things unconsciously were just sort of playing, you know, that, okay, they do have a certain way to share, and it's never the same as the ma male bonding, you know, and it's not really true. I don't think women just only talk about losing weight and food and cat fights and jealousy and why do we have such preconceived notions. So it started with those simple things and then it became a big, uh, a big journey to come to where we are today. Yeah. So we've done a film together called Faith Connections and uh, it, it really worked out well and we wanted to do something more uh, and Nalin came up with this idea that he, he was thinking for a long time. And for me as a producer, I always wanted to do something which is unique and it's not available, which is not seen yet. And uh, here is an opportunity to do a film about first female buddy film. By that time, that shape had taken that we're going to talk about women and uh, sisterhood of women. And what do women do when they're what do women do when they're alone? That's never captured on cinema. And we wanted to make it a large, light-hearted film with a strong message in it, but entertaining and not being preachy. So, so primarily there were two reasons. Uh, the strongest one was that I had a director who could pull this off. Uh, besides, the third reason is that we had just put together a great team who was dying to do. I was at a point where I, was, I had done my, I think, my eighth film. And um, I had this burning urge to do something different. I didn't quite know what doing something different really meant. And it just so happened that the universe conspired and I got a call um, about this film that was happening and I knew who Pan was, I knew what he did. Um, and it was very intriguing because the, the very first interaction with the film was an email saying that we're going to have an actor's retreat and workshops. And if everything goes well, we might shoot a film. <laughs> And we're going to shoot it in Goa. And <laughs> I don't need an excuse to go to Goa. <laughs> yeah. Also, um, then when I actually went and met Pan and Dilip, both emanating light, it just made sense. And I then just didn't ask any questions. I lie. I didn't ask any questions till day 20 of the shoot. And I had many questions as the plot progressed. But I think it's important to do that. I think that now, um, as uh, the country, the way it stands, and the, the mindset of people, the way it stands, is a time for experimentation. And that people are willing to accept change um, and sort of even um, um, they're egging for it. And they want it. And they want to see it. And I think that as someone who represents, let's say, maybe s s almost like the youth of the country or maybe a young person, I think it's nice to be able to show that you can do this and do that. and perhaps get away with it. Actually, it was the first uh, song that I did ever, like for any kind of playback, after which I started doing like Tamil and uh, uh, Bollywood playback, but it was Mila Mila for Super. And I was always a big fan of Nagarjuna. I thought he was so cute. <laughs> he is. <laughs> so, uh, and, and Sandeep Chota, of course, I, I had known him for a really long time and, and I did that song. It actually, it was a really good song. It, it did very well for me. That Nalin and Dilip and Gaurav, they were not looking for actresses, but they were looking for real people. The, the girls who have fire in them. And I think each of them, you know, each of them has so much inside them and, you know, so many emotions, so much happiness, so much, you know, like when we were, we were together, we used to share so much. Like, though my character was completely different than, like, you know, I like all of them, but I used to relate with each of them, you know. The, the like, the sequences, like, the, the, the bar sequence. And I was thinking, oh, I will do the same thing, you know, if, like, with my girlfriends. So, 
like my character though it was it has a own journey it's a little quiet like all the time we used to do this yoga session and meditation and you know bunch of things you know uh, doing the scene work and so it was not like a, a shooting shooting it was like you know a family gathering no i cannot call it as a farm i it it was everything it was like we were living every day each day was you know a beautiful day we were experiencing ourselves we are experimenting with ourselves and every day we used to surprise ourselves and that's what happened and it was fun it was fun only seven women used to talk on set and rest of them were quiet i've constantly seen a lot of guilt you know so either some of the women that i know have given up their careers to be with their children and so hate their lives because of it and their husbands uh, or they are the, there's the other lot that works but is constantly guilty about not spending enough time so i'm surrounded by this and but you know you are seeing that and feeling it is is not the same thing so i was wondering where i'm going to pull that when they told me that you have a daughter i said shit <laughs> I ran away from it in my real life, and now you're doing this to me here. <laughs> you know what? Why? <laughs> you know? But they said you have a daughter. I said okay, cool. I love kids, but other people's kids, you know, not mine. <laughs> so, so you know, you know that scene where this whole let me tell you about just that particular scene because it, it took my soul and some. So I'm just told, Sandy, you have to go under the porch. This is what Nalan used to do. He used to just send us to places, not telling us what we are going to expect. You know, so. <laughs> You have to go under this thing. They were not revealed to us actors. So oh, wow. I didn't know what was happening. So he said, "Just go under this thing." I go under this thing, and they show me that this girl has done this. And I swear, Lakshmi, I choked. I choked for the child I have not had. I just choked. I broke down. I mean, they 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 cut the scene, and I still sat there and I cried because I I I just. I, I thought it was so heartbreaking, and I went through that whole thing. And by the time that girl came, I couldn't even speak, you know. And that was the reality that they made us tap consistently, you know, of me not having played her mother, 